Hello to all you comic book readers out there, I'm Mike from Comic Frontline here, and welcome to my comic review from the all new, all different Marvel comic book, and as you can tell by the shirt I'm wearing right here, I'll be reviewing this book, which is The Punisher, issue number 6. And just a little disclaimer I want to put out right here, this is parental advisory, not for kids, which has been said from issues 1 to now. Because there's lots of blood and gore that is definitely not suitable for kids. So this is an adult read. But uh, I won't be showing any blood and gore in this comic book. Um, for that matter, that it is not for kids for an adult read. But um, just want to throw that disclaimer out there before I got into this review. So it starts at the DEA's office where the Commander-in-Chief is talking with Ortiz would understand that she's been going through a traumatic experience of seeing Henderson's face cut off and everything else. He suggests to her that maybe it's best that, uh, you know, you stepped away and give it a rest. And basically asking for a mandatory leave. And Ortiz is trying to convince him, saying, just give me one more week and I can do everything that needs to be done for Henderson. And the boss just says, just walk away from this Ortiz while you still can. And then leaves us off there. Where we actually go to the desert then, as a, a little flashback, with great artwork I must say. Where it's Frank Castle, Olaf, and O'Neill that are about to attack at the military base. But um, the command in chief comes in and suggests to send in a bunch of mercenaries for backup. And it was too late to call it out now because Frank Castle wasn't so keen on that. But... Uh, they were on their way uh, right now, and there were two other people who were going to be watching over them during this mission. So as they're going and attacking the military base, they meet up with this guy who uh, they're trying to ask uh, questions to. He looked like he was a teenager, adult sort of, and what they did is that uh, the guy shot O'Neill, and then they shot him, for that matter. And then as everything else got chaotic, they meet up with the Commander-in-Chief of the Desert saying, you know, Americans, you know, we can make a negotiation and everything. But without any further ado, Frank Castle just shot the person between the head as a sanction kill, so to say. Then the mother finds out that her son was dead and then the woman said, you know, you kill one of ours, you pay the price. And then Frank Castle was saying that, you know, O'Neill wasn't one of us. He was a Marine and everything, and not to dirty his name. So as the mother was about to shoot them, they shot her, and then they just blew everything up to the ground for that. And that goes to Extra Asylum now at the uh, cemetery, where Ortiz is paying respects to Henderson and going to Frank Castle's grave, actually, saying, Frank Castle, they say you must have died in the tunnel explosion, but if you're out there and if you're still alive, I didn't get it before. And she put this on top of the grave. And then, not knowing that he was actually buried underground, the Punisher actually rises from the ground. A Punisher was born. So, I was saying like, wow, I did not expect that to happen. But that was actually pretty cool, I must say. Of uh, seeing that last page. But, uh, yeah. So, this was a great issue. What I liked about this issue is that I always wanted background of when Frank Castle and Olaf worked together from what we heard from the first issue when they used to work together. I mean, it took them six issues. I thought maybe they would do it before, but I understand they were doing the whole face thing and everything. But I'm glad that they actually put this in the comic book so we get more information about how they work together. But um, this was a really great comic book. Rating, I would give 4 out of 5 stars. The all work was great, and the story was great as well. I would recommend you pick this up if you have been all along, and if not, then you won't. Up to you guys, but I would say it's a definite read. But, like I said, for adults, not for kids. For that. So, with that, everybody, that's my comic review of The Punisher, issue number 6. Before I go, do not forget to check out these sources. ComicFrontline.com Zone4Podcast.com and a YouTube gaming channel, Frontline Gaming Zone, normal source for comic and gaming and news videos and a whole bunch more. Subscribe to our channel today for more videos that we upload daily and will be in your subscription boxes so you won't miss out on any videos. So please uh, subscribe to us. And as always, 
comment section, leave your comments, likes, dislikes, or any questions you have about the comic book, let me know, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. So I want you comic book readers out there, Mike from Comic Friday saying take care, and don't forget to keep watching. Later, everybody.